Hello class, a very pleasant morning to all of you. Today, I, Raja Parekh, am here to further continue with the subject of social science for the students of class 8th. My dear students, during the previous lecture, we saw that how various social super social customs and superstitions were the part were the evil part of the society. We studied in detail about Raja Ram Mohan Roy who brought a final ban to the practices of Sati. Now today we are going to see the further continuation. So here the column think. What do you think the words superstition and evil custom means to you? So how can you consider superstition and evil customs in your life? So dear students, superstition is something which is called blind belief. That means the thing which is not true but as the people say the, those things to you continuously, you started believing it. And what are the evil customs? The customs which, which do not benefit you as a part in your life is considered as evil customs. What do you uh, what will you do to eradicate any superstition or evil practices prevalent in your village or community? So the customs or the uh, practices, evil practices such as Satya system, Dut Piddi, what what are the steps you will do? Okay, you can write the same in your rough book. Now let's see the further continuation that is Dayanand Saraswati. Dayanand Saraswati was born in a Brahmin family in Tankara village near Murbi in Savrastra. In his early childhood, he realized that the idol worshipping and religious rituals are worthless. He renounced his family and world and the world in search of truth. He travelled across India for the next 15 years and also studied yoga. He became a sannyasi, that is, an ascetic or and recluse and studied the philosophy of Hinduism from Swami Virjanan Dandisha in Mathura. So Dayanand Saraswati was a child who was born in a Brahmin family in Saurashtra. In the early childhood, he thought that worshipping an idol, that means worshipping a murti and the religious rituals which the people follow are worthless. He renounced his life. He started his journey of life in search of truth. He travelled many places for the next 15 years and studied yoga. He became a sannyasi and also studied philosophy of Hinduism. Swami Dayanand Saraswati made an attempt to achieve national unity by advocating a classless and a casteless society. He acquired a deep insight in the Indian culture and religion through Vedas. He preached the people to go back to Vedas. He wrote a book entitled Satyarth Prakash. He made people aware that in the Vedas there is no mention about social customs such as idol worship, rituals, child marriage, sati pratha, untouchability, etc. So Dayanand Saraswati had created or had generated a ray of hope among the uh, among the people in the society. He was trying. He was trying to attempt to make a national unity by creating a classless and a casteless society. He, he was provoking the people that there is no class, that means upper class, middle class and lower class and also there, are, there is no caste. Each and every human has a right to live his life. Therefore, he was going for a classless and a casteless society. He also had a deep knowledge about the Vedas and he also made people to believe that one must go back to Vedas. He wrote a book named Satyarth Prakash and also made uh, the people aware that in the Vedas, in the books which is written, has no, uh, no mention about the evil customs and also uh, there is no any uh, social evil such as untouchability and etc. He advocated monotheism that is there is only one God. He preached in Hindi and as a result, his thoughts reached the maximum number of the people in the country. Dayanand Saraswati established Arya Samaj in the year 1857 century era, branches of which were established in Lahore, Punjab, Uttar Pradesh, Rajasthan and Gujarat. <coughs> Consequently, social changes occurred rapidly. 
Arya Samaj started a movement to reconvert those people to Hindus who have changed their religion out of force or by choice <clears throat> and were willing to return to their original faith. So, uh, Dayanand Saraswati also established an institution named Arya Samaj and the branches of which were spread across the nation. The social changes started occurring immediately and Arya Samaj was or also started a movement to reconvert those people to Hinduism who changed their religion because of force or choice and also who, who wanted to regain their religion. After the death of Dayanand Saraswati, the activities of this organization were continued by the leaders like Lala Hansraj, Pandit Gurudat and Lala Rajpat Rai. In the year 1902 century era, Kangdi Gurukul was established near Haridwar by Swami Shraddhanand. Arya Kanya Vidyalay, Mahavidyalay was started in Vadodara, Gujarat, where the place uh, where the education focused on inculcating discipline, dignity of labor, tolerance, patience and moral values. And hence, even after the death of Dayanand Saraswati, the, uh, the institutions continued doing various good practices in order to regain the moral of our nation. So my dear students, here we are at the end of the video. You can go through the ch uh, chapter from the textbook itself and start revising the same. So till then we will continue for the very next part we will continue in the next lecture. Till then stay at your home and stay safe. Thank you.